It's not climate change, it's climate crisis because we are right in the midst of it. It's pretty much a wide consensus that we will experience more frequent heat waves, more intense heat waves. Nature's not there as it used to be anymore. Our ocean is becoming warmer, so we now see areas that are dead zones where nothing can survive. Kami sangat khawatir sekali pada anak-anak yang setiap hari dia bernapas dengan menghirup udara yang kotor. We lost our home that day. Destroyed. Extreme weather events increasingly are affecting the delivery of healthcare services. I would see my patients come in the door, and I was like, oh, thank God you're, you're okay. One thing that I wasn't prepared for is that the problems don't end once the fire burns out. Climate change and our health are intrinsically linked. We see a sort of an expansion of the Aedes mosquito in areas where you didn't used to see it before. If we had a fluxo of dengue here in the community, it would be terrible. We don't have structure to deal with so many patients. If we had a the paradox is that the health sector is part of the problem today. The energy requirements for a site like this are massive. The problem is always how do you move from the realization of something to, okay, I'm going to act. I wanted to become a scientist and use my knowledge to help fix one of the major environmental concerns of our time. There are data gaps that exist. The data we are collecting is very important to bridge that gap. You start realizing that the magnitude of a problem is more important than you thought, but once you detect it, you can fix it. Our job now is to pass on the traditions and stories to the younger generations so that they know who they are. The best solutions come from that healthy level of questioning of why, why can't this be improved? Why can't this be better? We as health professionals, we are really the first and last line of defense when it comes to the health impacts of climate change. We are only as healthy as our planet is.